This is a web scraper that I just built with four different nodes in NA10 and in Lovable. And as you can see, if we go here and if we execute the workflow, if we wait for the webhook, if we enter the language code, the location, the business type, this as well, we can start scraping here. And as you can see, the workflow will run on its own in the backend. Uh, and after we have uh, information scraped, we will get all the needed informations for uh, restaurants in New York. Uh, this is specifically a Google Maps scraper, as you can see. And here we're getting also scraping results, which we can download as a CSV file. And then we can basically go here. And as you can see, we have all the data right here. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can build any web scraper with these two tools, with NA10 and Lovable. And I will also show you how you can integrate it so that you can create an app from that as well. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. As you can see, AI agents, NA10 and AI automation popularity has been rising in the past 12 months. That means this is the best time to learn this in-demand skill. And what better place to learn than joining our school community? Now, our school community is totally different than other communities just because we're doing the advanced AI agent templates every single week. We're adding new courses monthly. We also have direct one-on-one -on -one support. Here, you can also see what other people say about us. And not only that, we're giving away free NA10 account for every person that joins here's a little bit of a sneak peek here you can see bonuses we can see also the courses and some ai agent templates as well so if you want join now for the discounted price or you know just wait and learn from this video so let me first break down how i did this uh, workflow in na10 so first of all what we did is we added a webhook here so it's uh this is called lovable input so this is where all the data will go from Lovable. So when we go to Lovable here, we have language code, location, business type, and then we have skip close places. And when we click start scraping, we will send that data over to uh, N8N to the webhook, okay? And the webhook in this case is a test URL. It's a post URL. Uh, production URL is going to be if we go here and if we activate it, but... We don't want to do that right now. We have a post URL here and using respond to webhook node, that's what we need, okay? From there, what we have is we integrated an Epify actor. Now, what is an Epify actor? So let me explain that briefly. So uh, this is Epify and Epify has a store with a lot of different actors. Actors is basically another word for scrapers, okay? So, uh, by the way, you can check out Epify down below. We have a link and you can get like $5 uh, free credits. Uh, as you can see currently, you know, I have $5 free credits here and I can use any of these scrapers right here. Now, the best part about Epify is that you can use a lot of different scrapers. You can use TikTok scrapers, Google Maps scrapers, uh, Instagram scrapers, stuff like that. Currently, what we did is we uh, used Google Maps scraper here but you can pretty much use any scraper you want for this particular use case, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to first pick the scraper, okay? What type of scraper you want to build, okay? The NA10 workflow will always be the same. It will always be like this um, in pretty much all the cases. And uh, as you can see, we have an HTTP request where we are integrating our actor from Epify, okay? So let me actually show you how to do this. Let's say you want to use Google Maps Scraper, which we used for this video, okay? And uh, as you can see here, you have an API endpoints, and you want to go to those API endpoints right here. And you want to go and get this run actor synchronously and get data set items, okay? You want to copy this, okay? Now, obviously, before this, you know, doing all of this, make sure you have an account on Epify. Again, the link is down in the description. And what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, NA10. You want to paste that uh, Appify URL, endpoint URL, which we got right here, uh, as I showed you. So run actor synchronously and get data set items. This means that we will run the actor, run the scraper, and we'll get the data set items for this specific JSON right here, which I'm about to show you how you can set that up, okay? Make sure the method is post because here it actually says post and then make sure you copy that link in here which is this link right here and then make sure you're sending the body json using specific json now 
How can you get this JSON right here? You simply go to your Google Maps scraper and you click JSON here, okay? And as you can see here, we don't have a lot of uh, JSON uh, data points. So what we wanna do is we wanna go to manual and we wanna go here and make sure we fill out all the data points and information we want. So if you want location, we'll just go here, type in New York, USA. And as you can see, we can go to JSON and that will be right here, as you can see. The location will be filled in, okay? So make sure to enter what you wanna do, like for example, country context, United States, right? Uh, business name filter, stuff like that. You can add multiple categories and then once you have JSON here, you just copy that JSON, okay? And you paste it right here, okay? Now I use a different Google Maps scraper. That's why I have a different results here. But as you can see, uh, these are results that are coming dynamically from Lovable, okay? I will show you how you can also edit that. Uh, but currently what we get is we get this right here, okay? And from Lovable, we're getting the inputs. Now, how did I set up Lovable? Let's, let's break this down as well. So I said, I want to build a web scraper that has a modern design with animations and aesthetics. This is a Google Maps web scraper that asks for these inputs from user. And basically what I did is I went in here and I went in JSON and I went which particular information do I want user to input? I want the language, so I want user to input the language, which is right here, as you can see, the language code. So I said, okay, uh, use the location. Example input is New York, USA. Type of business, example restaurants, and then skip close places, true or false, as you can see. And this is all that I put right here, as you can see, skip close places, true or false. Uh, then also here, business type, we have location here and body language, okay? Uh, which is the language basically from here, English from here, okay? Uh, then I said all of the data is sent to a post webhook. A post webhook right here is this webhook, uh, oops, not this one, this webhook right here. So, so you just copy that and you paste it right here and you say uh, it's coming, it's sending to a post webhook and then paste the link from the webhook and all the data is sent back from the webhook to the front end of the app and user can download the data in a CSV with a button, okay? So how this, how this works is I go here, I put in New York, I put in restaurants, I put yes, skip close places, and now I cannot click start scraping before I actually go here and click execute workflow. Now, as you can see, we're waiting for the trigger to happen. So in order for the trigger to happen, we need to click start scraping. Now, all the information will be sent to our uh, lovable input right here. As you can see, you, we can see it right here. And then the Epify scraper, which is right here. And by the way, you can see the runs right here. You can see the runs from the scra scraper. So we have, for example, this scraper right here. And as you can see, we can see the runs. So this was the previous run and scraping was finished. So we can also click here and in the back and we can see what's happening with the scraper, okay? And here, as you can see, it's finished and here it's also finished. We have the scraping results and we can download this as a CSV, right? And as you can see, it's downloading as a CSV. We can click save and then we can go into our Google Maps or not Google Maps, but Google Sheet and we can go file, import and we can import all of this right here. And as you can see, we're getting the phone number the website, the city, the address, and title as well, okay? So what I did to get this in, uh, output right here is I went into NA10, and as you can see, we have a coding node after the Epify scrapes all the data. So as you can see, after the Epify scrapes all the data, we have title, we have price, we have category name, we have a bunch of like, I would say useless data that we don't want, right? So we can go and we can just pick the data we want, right? So we can just pick the data, phone, website, city, address, title, and we can make sure that that is extracted, okay? So what we have is we have a coding node. Uh, if you want, you can just type in code and this is the coding node. I just named it parser here because it it's parsing the items as you can see. So it's parsing the items as title, address, city, website, phone, and I'm getting structured data as an output which I get right here, okay? So as you can see, once I execute that step, basically we have a respond to webhook node 
and then we just have all incoming items here and all of these items are displayed right here as you can see so Brickton Way uh, 185 Brickton Way then we have it right here as you can see and all of the data is being passed down to uh, the scraper that we have right here okay so again how is it working right so when we put in the inputs here and when we start scraping that data will be sent to our webhook which is lovable input this is lovable output by the way and then we have the epify which will scrape those results that we want right based on our dynamic inputs right here that are coming from here and then epify will give us a bunch of different you know uh things and a bunch bunch of different data points and then what we will do is we have a coding node that will just take the title, address, city, website, and phone. And it will give us all of that right here. As you can see, we have like 50 plus items. And then those 50 plus items will be sent back to Lovable. So what we can do here is we can just say Lovable, Lovable Output. And as you can see, that's it, right? And from there, uh, we just save and that will be sent right here and we'll be able to download it. Now, how can you make sure that this app works without going into your backend and without executing the workflow? Because as you can see right now, we have to go here, execute the workflow. We have to go here, start scraping, and then this will work in the backend, right? So how do we do this without it? So I'll just pause it for now. And as you can see, I got scraping failed because I paused it. Um, but how, how do we do it, right, without actually using NA10 at all? Uh, so currently, we're using NA10 all the time to trigger that particular scraping. Now, what we can do is we can go here and we can go to production URL, copy that URL, and then we can just enable this, activate this, okay? And what we can do in Lovable, we can say, can you switch, oops, can you switch the post webhook URL to this one. And as you can see, Lovable will go here and it, uh, the Lovable will do its uh, iteration on its own and it will implement this new webhook, okay? So right now we have a new webhook here. By the way, we can publish this as well. Let's just publish this here. And once we publish this, we would be able to use that scraper without actually going in Lovable or without actually going in Epify, okay? So as you can see right now, we have it here. So we can just go here and let's test it out if this is actually working. So we have English, New York, restaurants. Yes, skip close places, start scraping. Okay, as you can see, it was an error. So if there was an error, then make sure uh, to also go to Lovable and make sure the webhook URL has been updated. So you can also go here and test it out. As you can see, because sometimes we published without actually going through, uh, without actually waiting for it to save, okay? So now it's still scraping and let's see if it's working. It should work. As you can see, it's working and we can download the CSV without actually using the NA10, okay? Now what we can do is we can again publish this and we can update this to the existing link. And if we update this, again, we have to wait a little bit here then we can go here, click on it, and we would be able to open the app right here. So we can go through the app, restaurants, okay, start scraping. And as you can see, it will scrape without us touching the NA10, which is really great. So we can just go through it and we can just wait for it. And it will scrape the entire process. Again, the Epify uh, or NA10 is not actually working anything. I mean, we don't see it's working, but it actually is working in the backend. And as you can see, we're getting all the scraping results here and we can download them right here as well, which is really cool. So with this specific guide, you can pretty much build any scraper. So if you wanna build scraper, if you wanna go into software as a service business, this is something that you can do. Now keep in mind, you can check this out and this template, you can get it in our uh, free community. So if you want, you can check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next upcoming videos. I hope this video was interesting to you. Leave a comment down below what you think about this and leave a comment down below what do you want to see next. So thank you.